All right, there we are. <clears throat> Good afternoon, I guess, everybody. Almost afternoon. It's it's close to my normal start time around 12. Um, as of right now, we're in a different location right now. I'm doing some house sitting, but I still have the materials at hand, so I'm going to try to do this. We're going to dive back into some Star Wars Battlefront 2 after yesterday being May the 4th, and I guess other... For some Star Wars fans, today is Revenge of the Fifth for everyone else, Cinco de Mayo. So we're going to play some more Star Wars Battlefront 2, we're going to dive more into the multiplayer aspect of it because I've played a lot of the arcade aspect of it most of the time that I've played this game. And that just showcases the gameplay against AI, which I don't think really suffices to say how the game actually feels. I'm going to try out Ewok Hunt, have not played it yet, heard great things, heard it's really funny, heard it's also really stupid, but in a good way. We'll check it out, see what's going on. Don't know how long this one will be, but we'll see. I don't know if I want to do Ewok Hunt first. Might as well. I only have so much time to play it, so. This is one of the game modes they added where it's like time sensitive. You can only play it for a certain amount of time. It's during right now. It was actually it was actually gone. Now it's back for this weekend. And this weekend you can actually get the Endor skin for Princess Leia all weekend now by completing the weekend challenges. Uh, I don't know that I really care so much about getting skins for heroes that I don't always get to play. But it's also because I don't really play this game a lot. Like now that I've been playing more, I've been playing a lot of um, Starfighter Assault. And I get heroes a lot more now, just because I'm finally getting okay at playing the objective and getting kills. But we're probably going to play some Galactic Assault and Starfighter Assault today, because those are the big two game modes. They have other small ones like Strike and Blast and uh, Heroes versus Villains. Which, Heroes versus Villains, if you played Star Wars Battlefront 1... The modern versions, of course. I'm going to refer, if I ever refer to the old ones that are now backwards compatible on the Xbox, I'll call them classic. The Star Wars Battlefront Classic or Star Wars Battlefront 2 Classic. Or if you played... Okay, let's see. Simple flashlight, turn the light off to recharge battery, be careful not to run out. Okay, that's it. I get that one ability. Okay, can I not be first person? No. It looks like that guy needs help. I'm gonna go help him. This is... This is terrifying. They've upped the sound design particularly for this. I guess we're all shooting at each other. So it looks like they don't actually have us all together. And then we just kind of have to meet up. I'm gonna let my flashlight recharge while they do their thing. This is actually really weird. Looks like we got more guys over here. Yeah, we're just kind of everywhere. The The night is so dark and full of terrors. If you've ever watched Game of Thrones, oh my god. I wonder what it's like to play as an Ewok. Do they have, like, slight night vision? I haven't seen an Ewok yet. Oh my god. I know they can jump down from like the treetops and fucking murder you. Let's recharge. Whoa. You know, there was a version of this in Star Wars Battlefront 2 Classic where you, um, you played Hunt. And Hunt was a game mode where you played two separate races, or two separate parties, I guess. Like, they had one where it was Wampas and Rebels, at least I think it was the Rebels. They had one that was Ewoks and, um, Clone Snipers. The Scout- or not Clone Snipers, the Stormtrooper Scouts. Oh, what? You found a grenade? I let my flashlight run out. Um, and then there was, like, Jawas and Tusken Raiders. There's a whole bunch of different stuff. 
but this was one of the game modes, except it was a lot more of we're not trying to survive, we're just trying to take out enough of the enemy team. I can see how you could get good at this, but like... Oh, there's only three Ewoks, and there are 16 of us. That's... that's why. Does your health not regenerate? Oh god, it tells you. Lost to the forest, and it does not give you the actual time frame. Looks like they're 10 minute long games. About, anyway. Oh god. Wow, they really updated the game physics for this. I really haven't seen anything, so I haven't used my gun yet, but... I feel like you could actually use your flashlight as an SOS in this, because you might need it. That's a much louder gun. You know, you never really think of the Ewoks as the terrifying, oh my god. As the terrifying little guys, you, you think of them mostly as, like, the cute little adorable guys that you were sad that died when you were watching episode 6, and now there's this. Like, you can say the Christmas special, but I don't really ever count the Christmas special, if you ever watched it. Most people haven't. I don't like the fact that we're in a tunnel here, but I do like that there's other light sources here. There is something nearby. Oh, God. Oh, this must be where you find equipment, is in the little cases. I'm just gonna keep on moving. Actually, no. Oh, these guys are on me. Okay. They're just following me. I guess I have a... Oh, there's the signature Ewok stream. I have a squad now. They, they follow me. Because I seem like I know what I'm doing, I guess. Ow. Alright, but we gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, so they're like one-hit kills. He was coming after me. Holy shit. Ooh, this is something else, man. Like, that, that little guy running at me was... Ooh! This is shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, don't let it run out, because it runs out at inopportune times. D there was absolutely movement over there. Got him. Okay. I didn't get the kill, but that's okay. I don't need to get the kill. Just need to spot him. Oh, no! Oh, God. We gotta move. Oh, God. Wait, you become an Ewok? So this just gets progressively harder for the Stormtroopers, because now I'm just... Okay. That must be the extraction ship. Yeah, you do have, like, pretty good night vision. But they have a big-ass flashlight on that ship. 
So yeah, these, if you, like, apparently go in, it pulls you out somewhere else. You can use them to, like, get to high places, because you can kebab like that. Which insta-kills enemies, and you can... The biggest kebab they've done so far is they got four enemies in one kebab. And they don't know, due to hitbox sizing, if it's possible to make it any more. Jedi Dank 3 boarded the shot. Ooh. Ewoks defeat. I guess if anyone makes it to the shuttle, it's probably defeat, but... Wow, that's kind of tense. Trying to spot little runners running around trying to stab the shit out of your ankles. Yeah, I've played this game quite a bit, and I'm still only level 19, which kind of shows you how slow the level progression is in this. But now that they've added, instead of just level progression, individual class pro uh, progression, it's not that bad. Apparently, I spotted four Ewoks with a flashlight, but I only shot at three. That's scary, too. Defeat ten Ewoks. Okay. And then there's this one, yeah. May the fourth be with you for this weekend. This is why they have the Lay Oregana going again. I have 24,000 credits. I killed an Ewok, but I have no Ewok of limbs. Eh. Oh, maybe it's limbs as Ewok. Yeah, this just cycles back and around. Boy. I am an Ewok. Oh, there's only two of us? I guess that's why it starts from separated, because if it started all of them together... I also like how 20 people, two of them become Ewoks at the start. Kill the Intrudas. No, he's over there. No, because of the flashlight. I didn't talk grass. Oh, there's so many of them. There's so many of them. I had to go for one, but there were too many. They're all regrouping. This is why the kebabs become important, I guess, is because if they regroup and they uh, have that kind of space, like that kind of spacing, then they're easy to get, but you cannot kill them on the ground because they just absolutely waste you. I like how Ewoks can just fall from any height. Oh, it's the orb. Lost to the forest. Gained a brother. Imagine how much more terrifying the Ewok race would be if they legitimately... I don't think he saw me. That's insane. I don't think he saw me. Ah, there were two of them. I had the one, but... Uh, legitimately terrifying it would be if they just they took the stormtroopers afterward and just turned them into Ewoks. Oh, are you available for a kebab, my friend? I missed! I missed! Come here. Yes. I got him. <laughs> that was so bad. She's like, I'm gonna stab you in the shins until you die, because I missed my kebab. 
I don't know what my left and right bomber does. The orc drop on their natural. Oh, see, they're probably better at night. What does Valiant Horn do? Inspires him, giving him damage resistance and improving his attacks for a short time. So you kind of give away your general location, and it takes time to do. But it improves battlefield effectiveness. See how he's hiding just kind of inside the cove? Wow, how did he get a DLT-19? I wonder if you have to find those. Any, any equipment you find, you just kind of get to keep. Should have blown the horn. Or waited for the kebab. We're gaining brothers. Half the game is ours. <laughs> Yep, yep. Got him! I got one! <laughs> I think that's two for me this game that I've taken. When X Mike was lost to the forest. I don't know who I want to root for, honestly. <laughs> Yes, yes, no! I tried. I can't believe I dealt so much damage and jumped into the middle of all of them that are left. This is great. I love this. Can I blow the horn next time? I gotta remember. Defeat the intruders who are all hiding in a cave together. Damn them for being smart life forms. Why couldn't we fight unintelligent life forms? I can only imagine what this would be like if they populated it with AI. Oh. He was one of the ones that made it all the way last time. Charge! No! Oh. Leave me be. Leave me be. Hi! Oh. He was almost dead, too. There's only three of them left. There are 15 of us, and three of them. Oh, the ship has arrived. Old Typhlosion. Or O Typhlosion, not Old Typhlosion. Running, 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 we're running, running, running. Going to go stab some stone. Where'd the flashlight come from? See, the advantage that they have is they know where the extraction zone is, where we just kind of follow the shuttle. Oh, somebody got him. Your limbs in 10,000 points. God, imagine being that pilot. 
yeah, we just sat down on Endor, and, um, everyone was dead. Alright, ooh, rank up, level 20. That's a fuck ton of credits, man! You never get that many credits. Alright, I'm gonna take doggos with me to be let out real quick. That's, that would be a doggo. Alright. Yes, that was doggo Rocky, who likes to be let outside. And likes to talk to you. Alright, we're gonna do probably just one more round of this. I can come back and get my challenges later or whatever. We're gonna move on to something a bit bigger. Because that'll put us about a half hour in from three rounds of this. Oh, okay, good. We got the players we need. Then we'll probably move on to... I think I'll start with Galactic Assault. Because I want to... I don't know. Starfighter Assault is probably my favorite game mode in this right now. Just because I enjoy the Starfighter piloting. And I enjoy the game mechanics for it. As frustrating as it can be when... You have two ships behind you and no friends are coming to help you, but still. Um, Galactic Assault is just a basic Star Wars style thing, so I don't want to utilize it too much because it's not really anything different than, say, a battlefield, but I can play it in third person, which I do. expected that to be what happened but that's exactly what just happened I was waiting for it oh god I remember the roll mechanic because it seems like it's useful to get away from the enemies Oh no. We're losing people to friggin' traps. There was movement over there. God. Alright, he was lost to the forest now too. And so was he. Down. That is going to make life a little bit easier for them, maybe? Oh no, it kind of dissipates. That or we're just pushing it away. Alright, we watch each other's backs. Don't step outside the cave. You guys are in a bad location. Alright, I'm gonna move back around the other side. Are we losing this front? Ah, they're here. Come to me, friend. I got you covered. Or don't come to me. Shit. Oh, so, while we're kind of just going through and playing this, in other news... Uh, I'm going to be getting an actual PC-level computer here shortly. Um, 
once it's back in stock on Newegg and I get a little bit more money, I'm going to be picking up a... I don't think it was a Strix, but it was an ROG Asus PC. And for any of you PC nerds that might follow me and that might end up watching this, it's an Intel Core i7-8700K. k um, It's got a GTX 1070 Ti? No, this one had a 1080. The one I originally looked at had a 1070 Ti. Uh, and it's a full Asus build. I'm really excited for it. It's going to be a good time. That's an Ewok horn. They're about to jump down in front of us. It sounds like they're in here with us. Woo! They are. He's absolutely here. Damn. Like It sounds like they're in here with us. Turns around. Sure as shit. Ewoks can really win this game off, like, a handful of small victories. Okay, you can just do the shoulder switch. Jedi Dang 3. Son of a bitch, run away. I just wasted my Valiant Horn, but it's okay. I don't recharge. Oh wow, it takes a while to recharge. I guess not, but... You can track their goddamn footsteps! God! Horn after horn. It's just two guys, one with a DLT-19. There's only one of them left. And I think it's the guy with the DLT-19. DLT-19. There it is. I did not do much this game. So that's the current, I guess, specials game ability. <laughs> Go let doggos inside. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna rotate out this game mode and add different ones, more ones, interesting ones, that kind of thing. But for now, this is what they've got. I think I just quit. I guess doggos might not want to come inside yet? Maybe? I mean, it's pretty nice out here. Yeah, they're just kind of laying down outside. Oh. Alright. Leave them be for a little bit longer then. Okay, I did manage to quit away. I will say that the load times on this game are pretty slow, and it's also a very large game. I think it's like 61 gigabytes or something. But it's all in good fun. It's a good game. It's enjoyable. They updated the progression system. The campaign is not to die for. Like, it's not the single greatest campaign you'll ever play in your life, but it expands really well on an available canon material. It's going to be interesting to see what the next season is. There's a lot of speculation that it's going to be a solo season because obviously in less than a month, Han Solo, a Star Wars story, Solo comes out. So 
It'll be interesting to see what direction they decide that they should take it. In which a lot of people have been saying, we want a Clone Wars season. We want a Clone Wars season. And it's not something that seems like it's going to be a viable option right now that's going to happen. It seems like they're definitely going to pull a solo season. Just because the content makes more sense, it'll provide for the player base a little bit more. Especially because the player base isn't all people that know and care about what is and is not canon. So a lot of people would love a non-canon like run through of like, hey, just throw something in the game that doesn't actually exist, but it's different because, you know, they want to make it good for everyone. They don't want to make it too much for some people, too little for others. Apparently I have upgrades. I see this is how much I've been playing Starfighter Assault. Engine upgrade, trusty companion. See, this is this is the one you need. 10% bonus weapon damage, and then if you get this one here with 40% heat reduction. Oh boy, but you gotta be level 25 for that stuff. At least I think, yeah, still the same level up scheme. The way the game works is you kind of get your skill points every time you level up something, which it has the little XP bar over there on the right. I think it max, max level is like 40 or 50. Um, that or they might have put the max level cap at something like where you get all the skill points. Um, but you press A to unlock something, so like I'm going to unlock the engine upgrade right now. Actually, let's start with BB-8. Um... We'll go ahead and upgrade. Actually, you know what? I'm not getting anything else for five more levels. Why not both? Um, but when you get your skill points, you can use them to purchase these once you reach a respective level in the item. And then you can equip them to like use them as boosts or whatever. You press X to upgrade them. I believe you can upgrade them at level 5, 12, and 25. I know for a fact it's 12 and 25, but I think level 5 is the required level for level 2. Um, the reason why I probably already had this that or I got that... I don't know. Maybe you can just get to level 2. Um, but I know that you need to be level 12 for level 3 and level 25 for level 4 because this is level 17. Four skill points. I finally got the tactical jammer, but I really want to upgrade these to max level. I want the reinforced hull and the engine upgrade, and then get the tuned lasers up. But yeah, see the fighter level 25. I'm almost there. Um, I use the fighter a lot. The interceptor is a lot of fun, but <clears throat> it's just a lot of it are scenario based. Like the interceptor and the bomber are level based and who you want to play and when you want to play it, how you want to play it, like what kind of objective do you want to complete. But the fighter isn't all around like you can destroy turrets like a bomber can, but you can also shoot down fighters like an interceptor can. So it's just a good all around thing. I have not used, obviously, if you look at the levels of this equipment, any of the armor or speeder or artillery things. I mean, even the heroes. The reason why like Kylo Ren is level 10 and Iden Versio is level 10 is because if you gained equipment, so like obviously I have tier 3 equipment, but I'm only level 10, I can't get tier 3 until I'm level 12. But if you had cards before they switched the progression system, you kept your cards as the progression system and your card tier, which is the levels of everything, so you see I've got 2, 4, 6, and then 9, but I guess I've leveled her up once. Um, you've got your cards becomes your level instead of your card tier now. Which your card tier was used, I think just to like show how much you had done for the character. I don't think it had any real bearing on what you did, considering cards were found in crates or earned by completing specific objectives kind of thing. Um, but that's why like my heavy's level 35. Yeah, they're just enjoying the sun. I keep going to check on doggos. They're just enjoying the sun. Um, so yeah, my heavy card level is actually like level 35 here. My assault level is 18. Officer is 20 and specialist is 22. I got that Twi'lek skin for, I think it's the resistance, not the rebels. 
But that's pretty much what credits do now, is credits do skins, so you can go, oh, not weapons, appearances, so you can get, like, the other human resistance or the Nikto resistance. Hmm, excuse me. And they did add crystals back in the game, which this is not something I'd actually looked at before. So there you go. There are crystals. Use them to acquire valuable in-game appearances. They are purely cosmetic purchasable items only now. Doesn't even look like they're too terribly priced. Let's take a look. So, a rare skin is 500 crystals, which is $5. So it looks like it's pretty much... They kind of get you here, but from here on out, it's like you pay a dollar per hundred crystals, and then you get bonus crystals on the last two. So it's like any other in-game purchases scenario. I like the assault class, but I'm not big on the weapons because I don't have this gun yet. This is the gun I want. <laughs> um, this gun rotates based on what um, it's like the base gun for the faction that you're playing that round. I wish this was like the A280C, because the A280C is fully automatic. This is three round burst, which kind of threw me off because the A280 in Star Wars Battlefront was fully automatic, and everyone had access to it. I have used the CR2, but it just doesn't have the range that I prefer. But well, anyway... We're going to move on, so this is, like, you've seen this before when I've done my other streams and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, they got Blast, which is Team Deathmatch Strike, which is, like, small version. It's like a small-scale Galactic Assault, except it's one objective and two teams of eight. And it's it can get really intense because it's basically, like, these two guys got to plant... This group of guys got to plant a bomb or capture these objectives, and then from there... I actually think it might actually be more than just one objective. It might be multiple pairs. Heroes versus villains is 4v4. Four heroes, four villains. One of the heroes and one of the villains gets targeted as the enemy that, like, the VIP of the group. And if that person's killed, the other team gains a point. Uh, we're going to start with Galactic Assault, which is 40 players. And ridiculously crazy build. I don't know what kind of map we're going to play on here. Check who? Alright. Ugh, excuse me. It's still kind of early for me. My new work schedule has me not going to bed till 3 o'clock in the morning, so this is my early morning right now. I don't know what uh, Jakku is like in this anymore. I can't really remember. I know Crate from The Last Jedi is in here. Endor, I remember. Um, they do a really good job of moving through the eras in this. I would love to see, like they talked about doing a Clone Wars, like how they might do a Clone Wars season. I would love to see a Clone Wars season because I would love to see all those planets that you see, not only in the Clone Wars, but also in the years to come throughout the canon, the now canon storylines of the TV shows and the comic books and whatnot, that you see again in the Rise of the Empire. Because... It's like the line in Star Wars Battlefront 2 Classic. When you defeat the Kashyyyk mission, they say, we left that day as heroes, but we would return later as conquerors, or we left that day as saviors, but we would return later as conquerors. Like, that was the the second point of that, was the important part for that section of the game. Because that's when you realize, like, oh, I am going to play the bad guys. Oh, I'm swanning in up, up in the middle. Let's see here. Do I want to play the heavy? No, I'm going to run a self for a little bit. Oh, I remember this now. Yeah. This is gonna be rough. We're gonna get sniped at all the way in. And we're trying to protect these, so... We're on the defensive. Guy's down in there already. Oh, I pulled up my scan dart. I'm like, why is my reticle so weird? Oh, 
Oh, dang. Landing pad's getting hot! The Heavy is by far probably my favorite class in this game just because I like grabbing a blaster and shooting lasers in a particularly dire particular direction until something happens, which is about the effect of lasers in this. I just realized I have not been looking at chat at all so far because I haven't had it pulled up on my phone. So give me just one second here. We're gonna pop this up here. Okay, no one's been in chat yet. Now, I think the way these octagons work, or not octagons, the hexagons work, really the six sides. I think the way they work is every bar, every corner is a checkpoint. So, if we stop them, they don't lose all their progress, but they lose their progress up to a certain point, I believe. That or it's checkpointed in thirds. I feel like I keep swinging very far when I go to aim. Did we just lose what I'm standing on? Was I not in the objective? Game, which doesn't really bother me, but it kind of does. Because it's just, it's something that you see done. Oh, hi, Ray. That is a, an enemy hero that you're kind of forcing out of the area here. Alright, well, we gotta move in. Without going out of the objective area. That's the hard part. I don't know what you are. Are you Phasma? Oh, excuse me. What is that thing? Oh, I think that is fast enough. Ow. Sacrifice. Killed by the First Order ATSTs. Alright, so they do have starfighters in here, and they're actually not too hard to acquire. They're pretty cheap for battle points. Like, got the max number of fighters in play right now, but I'll see what I can do. Oh, never mind. It's not going to matter because they just lost. Probably by the time I spawn in. Yep, there it is. <laughs> right as I spawn in. We'll get the Starfighter play. Probably a little bit in this, just because sometimes it's useful to have someone who can pilot in the air, and like since I'm playing Starfighter Assault, I can do my best to help. Nope, no. They're still just lounging. Oh yeah, that's right, double XP's going on. I forgot about double XP. That's probably why I leveled up my assault so quick and why I leveled up earlier. A2AD training session. Yeah, so it's kind of like the old Call of Duties where you get kills with weapons in order to develop attachments for those weapons. Oh, okay. And then... I actually have the CR2 and its first attachment because I got the deluxe edition of the game when it came out, which came with the tier 3 weapon for every class, as well as its first attachment. But I'm not too big on it, so I'm using the guns in the order that I earn them. So, the way this is the uh, matchmaking is done for this is it's on a two round rotation where if you come into it in the middle of a game, it's, there's a chance you'll play on a different map again, but once you play on that map, you'll do attack, and then you'll do defense, and then you'll move to another map, and you'll do attack, then you'll do defense, then you'll move to another map. It's just the way that EA's matchmaking system is built, because Battlefield is very similar, and if you play on, like, DICE's or specially made servers for um, Battlefield 4, I don't know so much about 1, it's been a long time since I've played Battlefield 1, I've actually played Battlefield 4 more than I've played Battlefield 1. But 
the matchmaking system will have you kind of double up on a map before you move on so that you can experience both sides. But that's on like rush based game modes, obviously in a conquest based game mode. It doesn't really change much, but they might still build it like that. Oh boy. It also allows for decently timed rounds, like decent length rounds that feel like they're worthwhile because instead of you play attack on this map, then you play defense on this map, and the enemy team just trashes you every time. Like, it gives the winning team has to go through more objectives to give the defending team that lost on their attack more opportunities to, you know, try to stop them, to do enough damage that they hold them back, however it ends up working out. We will take control of this wreckage and prevent the resistance from fleeing with its prize. Secure the landing pad and the old reactor control chamber. Then we close the noose. Apparently we're closing a noose. Taking control of the landing pad. So yeah, the enemy snipers will be right up over there. Oh, yep. I wonder how good that sniper rifle is, but I've never used it. We're actually gonna do some specialist stuff, because I have the specialist, I just never really use them. Even though they're higher level than my officer. So this is actually one of the best things, because you can kind of spot everything before you go in. And you just pull out your weapon. Oh, that's my grenade. And like, if you go over them, it'll mark them. I just want to get one in my... Oh, he has me in his sights. Got him. I think this rifle gets two shots off before it overheats. Never mind. It gets more than two shots off over while it overheats. Before it overheats. I thought this rifle did more damage, though. I'm not doing too bad with it. I'm not gonna lie. It's also because they're kind of just presenting themselves and not moving. Which is good for me. Bad for them. Missed. Capturing reactor control. Woo. They came for us. That would that that worked out pretty well. I just want to make sure I'm using the IQA. Yeah, I am. See, I had this one. Um But I don't know how I feel about it. This is okay, but I really want the end to the specialist enough. Reactor control is nearly contained. Hold position for now. All right, we're moving up. Yeah, so they're going to be right up in there, which means there's not a lot of great sniping positions, but I might be able to find one. Okay, it is pretty accurate then. So you could use this as a close range DMR without aiming, it's just probably not recommended. Yeah, it hits pretty center when you shoot. Problem is, you gotta get enough shots off to kill somebody. Yeah, the objective is literally right here.
trying to like peek further in to get an angle on some of these guys. God, the ATSTs are really shaking everything up down here. The enemy is scattered. Regroup and push forward together. All right, perfect. Oh, Jesus. We're nearing the end. Capture the east and west exits. The resistance forces will crash against our barricades, and we will claim the droid at last. Yeah, so you can see how, like, this will kind of have the cinematic feel of most other Star Wars universes. It's really nice to fire a sniper rifle with no bullet, uh, like, no bullet drop, no sway, no recoil, really. So I don't know if aim assist exists in this multiplayer or not. Woo. It won't be long now. The west exit is falling. Getting so many friggin' points. Just double XP. Oh, I got uh, officered, I guess. I don't have enough points. You need a lot of points to play heroes in this. You really have to play the objective, and the game has to take a while. Not a while, but there are a lot of, like, if you're making it by the skin of your teeth and you're really helping your team along, you're probably going to be the guy that gets the hero that helps them finish it off. That sounds like Darth Vader. Oh god, I ran right on top of a thermal detonator. I heard it, did not react to it. Move in some more. So I guess this is the thing, I don't think my weapon overheats right now, because that's usually what that bar means across the bottom of the screen there. Whenever you get the yellow bar and you're overheat, your weapon doesn't overheat. I did not know the officer had an ability that did that. That was a real weird flashbang throw. Not gonna lie. That looked like Darth Maul. Looks like we're kind of just holding them here while some people capture. Okay. There are a lot of them there. Um, they know they can't afford to lose the east exit. Let's play the officer for a couple of seconds while the game ends. If it even spawns me in. Nope, not gonna spawn me in. Or well, I mean I'm spawned in, but I'm not gonna get there. They'll scurry about looking for escape. Chase them down. Oh, there's more. I forgot there was more. Resistance transports are landing. Detonate the vehicles at port and starboard positions. Succeed in this and the enemy falls. I forgot some of these are actually four tier things. That was Kylo Ren. Turret support deployed. Got an ally on site. Identity is classified. Wow. This gun has some serious recoil. The S5 is basically like the magnum of the blaster world. Uh, the only person I think you ever see carry an S5 in any of the Star Wars lore that most people know is uh, Captain Panaka from Episode 1. I believe he was briefly in Episode 2, though memory is not serving me currently. Um, but he's the only one you ever see with an S5. And it's actually used also as a grappling hook, which he does utilize it for. I don't know why I'm taking damage. I'm just gonna plant the bomb. Okay. Somebody else is planting the bomb, that's why. Ship. 
Oh, hey, look, it's boss. Oh, this is the last part of this map. So headshots are where it's at with this gun. Oh god, them explosive sentries deal so much damage, but we pulled it off. Secrets will change the galaxy. I'm curious what that's in reference to. Because the game doesn't really make a lot of references to its own storyline. I'm also not watching where I am on the scoreboard because I gotta check on doggos once more. Alright, double XP bonus. Almost leveled up the specialist. Let's see, not a lot of XP there. So there you go, like I can get the dual zoom for that, and I got a lot of kills with it that game. Um, and then, thermal binoculars, reveal 100 enemies. Oh, that's just a thing. Oh, and this is obviously for the A280 CFD that I already have. I came in ninth on my team, it's not terrible. Alright, so while we get ready for this next game here, I'm going to let this run. I'm going to go try to get the dogs inside, because it's pretty warm outside. Or pretty sunny outside, and they can sunburn. All right, and we are back. I spawned in as a clone trooper just in time. Close. I think I'm just a standard clone trooper. I do like this. This feels good. Like, it obviously doesn't feel good because it's people dying, but it feels... It adds a lot of... Okay, bye, guy. You are dancing around back there. It adds a lot to how you feel when you're charging in a battle see and like how many people there are injured from it. Got one. <laughs> See, I kind of want the DC-15. Just because I really like the DC-15. like one of those one objective things that kind of threw me off about this. Okay, they're pushing us out of there real hard. We need some bigger guns. So the gun I'm using is, you can actually get the DLT-15, no, I don't think it's a DLT, I think it's just the DC-15. Um, when you play as the clone troopers, but I have that the DC-15 LE, oh shit. They are pushing us back hard.
zone we couldn't win fast. Make a stand at the landing pads. Prevent their capture as long as possible. Now this is a cannon event that you never see. So yeah, they got starfighters. I think we can get starfighters here too. Oh wow, you just kind of get points for defending now. It's not a lot, but... It's kind of nice. Also looks like they updated the reticle for this gun. I don't remember it being... Maybe they did it for all guns. I thought it might have been a circle before, but it looks like now it's an actual crosshair. I don't know if that was by choice or by player demand. I could go rush in, but I really don't want to rush in right now. I'll sit here and collect my little bit of points when they come at me. Do I get four shots now? I thought you only got three. Okay, so now it is a circle. I'm confused. Wait, fully? Okay, no, they're on it. I want to move for it. I'm going to move for it. Okay, but I only got through there. Maybe I'm just lagging or something. Ow. Oh god, Darth Vader. Alright, yeah, we're gonna hit this guys for a minute. This is a little bit different because it usually gives you a little targeting reticle of like, hey, this is where the bad guys are that you were just shooting at in Starfighter Assault. It does not give you that here. No, you don't. Ow. Oh, it blew something up. So yeah, you can get anything bomber. The bomber might actually be a bad idea, just to kind of get and hit the objectives, but... God, this gun is the literal definition of a hand cannon. That's why air support is pretty useful, because he's just proton torpedoing this platform, trying to clear us out. I hit it. <laughs> yeah, we got the maximum amount in play now. DC-17 is probably my favorite pistol out of every pistol. West landing pad, getting hit pretty hard. Reinforcement, go! Long, a long way out. Okay, I'm really glad that worked out in my favor because I did not expect it to. Oh, damn. I didn't get it off. I did not expect everyone to be there. Yeah, 
Yeah, we just lost that landing pad. We held them for a good chunk of time, though. I think I just get to do this until I die, which is looking like it's going to be right now. He, wow, timed that proton torpedo perfectly. Oh, maybe not. I get to, I can do that again if I want. Yeah, like they have a DC-15, a DC-15 LE, which I really like this gun. This one's not bad. But as you can see, I've actually earned attachments for this one. Wookie Warrior. God, we're already contested on the left hand. Oh, we're already losing on the right hand side. Oh, hello. See, my reticle is a crosshair again. That Bosk? Was Bosk? <laughs> yeah. Rebel V10 micros. All right, guys, let's move in. We gotta take the barracks back. We gotta get Bosk and kill him. There's the traditional traditional phrase of Star Wars Battlefront. Watch those wrist rockets. Yeah, we cannot get in there. They have too many heroes in there. gun is just so powerful. Let's do this. So this is the hard part about once the enemy heroes are so powerful that if your team doesn't have heroes of their own, or your heroes ran off and got themselves killed before they could be useful, you reach this kind of like impasse of we can't fight back anymore. Yeah, like now there's three heroes in there. And one of them is Darth Maul. So now there's not really too much we can do to really stop them other than just throw bodies in there, but then we're going to lose the hangar. Because we don't have enough points to bring in heroes, unless we can just overwhelm them somehow. Oh, is that Yoda? They just have so many droids back there. Oh, apparently there is no level cap, because that heavy is level 70. Alright, but this is where they all have to come pouring out of the barracks now, and we can kind of intercept them. Oh, except Bosk, because Bosk is Bosk. I died to Bosk. Okay. Enforcers available. Yeah, but... I don't know. I could. I could just save up my points and try to get... Hero. They kind of randomly assign how much every hero is at the beginning of the, the game. So that no hero is needs to unlock. Or to purchase, I guess, to play as. Like, the way Star Wars Battlefront 2 Classic did it is anyone with a certain amount of points earned a chance to become a hero, and uh, they would just be asked, like, oh, do you want to? And they'd be like, yes or no. And if they said no, it would just get offered to the next person. And uh, that was Darth Maul that just jumped over my head. Yep. Um, but in this one, it's like, oh, you earned a ton of battle points. Here's a bunch of heroes to pick from, but, like, Yoda isn't always 8,000 points to play. Sometimes he's six. This means we're going to have to uncontest this before the game's over. 
we're going to have to force everyone out. And they've got Bosk in there. They're about to pull this off. Between Darth Maul and Bosk, they're about to pull this off unless we get a hero in here. Oh. Torin behind us. I'm about to level up my heavy again. We are losing the hangar now. I, we better. Ooh. I really like the overtime effect on this because overtime bar will not go down as long as it's contested, but the moment it's no longer contested, it will go down until contested again or the game is over. That's Aiden Versio. <laughs> They've got so many heroes in there right now. We're not going to pull this off. Like, they're going to have shit for reinforcements next round, but I don't know if we're going to be able to force them out of there until we get enough battle points to have our own heroes. Which, if we keep buying enforcers, we won't do. Oh, hey, look, it's Ray running for her life. Contested. Oh! I was back to back with a goddamn super battle droid. Oh, yes. Please. We need something, and I'm going to try to be that something, even though I'm going to die fucking immediately. But I'm going to try to do some good. Here I am in your hour of need. I don't know if this is it, but I don't think this is it. Kylo Ren. Bosk. Fuck you, Bosk. Yep. That guy playing Bosk is really good. You can also tell because he's got maximum tier of every equipment that he currently has. But I dealt some damage. Moving in on the hangar. Oh my Take god. Melt them down. So that's the number of enemies currently in the objective area. I didn't know it could even fit that many enemies. All they have to do is push us out. Yep, they pushed us out. They're gonna cut us off right here. They're going for the fusion core. Without it, this whole facility goes down. Repel those droids at all costs. And it can identify. I think I can handle myself. Oh god, he didn't make it. God, how many of those does he get and how quickly? I just dealt 614 points worth of player damage in about 7 seconds. Yeah, see, they don't have a lot of reinforcements, but there's only one objective here. I don't like that Camino is one objective, double, double, one.
but this overtime is a little bit different because they have to use this keypad and as long as they're not using the keypad the overtime bar goes down Yoda. Wow, me and this guy. Oh. This is why multiple heavies next to each other are really good because every heavy circle that's in use provides damage resistance, and every every heavy using their ability always regenerates health. Like, health regen starts immediately and goes until the end of the ability. So, four heavies standing in a formation where all their circles are overlapping gives them super high damage resistance. Looks like we're actually going to hold them off. I just said that, so now we're not going to, but we're going to try our best. Bosk is going to run in. Oh, the Emperor is down there, too. We held him off. And Yoda survived. Why not walk out when we're about to win? That boss is probably top... Yep. He is top of the game. 83 eliminations as boss. Not as boss, but in throughout the game. That's how you know they were, like, probably mostly carried. I don't want to say they were carried, because, like, obviously everyone fights for, like, what they get in this game, but when the like top players board is a couple of players from their team but we were the winning team either shows that we won by the skin of our teeth which we really didn't because they kind of pulled out that second that third objective by the skin of their teeth oh god back nothing shall hold you so i got all six of my jetpacks as an aerial trooper oh wait no Jetpack has an aerial, all six seconds of my jetpacks. Aerial Trooper in this game, because I've never played the Aerial Trooper before. Alright, so we'll do this one last round of Camino here for Galactic Assault, and then we'll move on to Starfighter Assault for a little bit. Starfighter Assault games are a little bit shorter, they're only about 10 minutes a game, where these ones can be up to like 20. Or more. Considering you can have times where, like we just had, where the overtime goes literally forever. Because that overtime could have lasted any amount of time, which I feel like games need to find a way to, like, undo overtime that that's, that's that long. Like, you have an overtime bar that decreases when nobody's on objective, but your overtime only goes so long. It's so like how they have the yellow bar, like, that one is your primary overtime. And, like, it kind of decreases really slowly, so you get, like, an extra, like two to three minutes to push the enemy off the objective but after that like it's game over if you don't and then there's a smaller overtime bar that goes down really quickly like the one does when there's nobody on the objective starting as assault kind of just want to get the Assault to level 20 because then I can get most of the, scar the cards. I also really like these cutscenes. Oh, 
I think he turned on his vanguard just to run faster. I'm pretty sure he's holding his vanguard gun. God, how many flashbangs are going off right now? I can't see shit. I cannot see. God, that flashbang lasted so fucking long. Yeah, that guy just only plays this game. He's a level 70 officer. <laughs> And max level Bosk. So just looked back at the stream playback, and uh, that flashbang lasted six seconds. This gets real hard, like, if one team gets a foothold over the other in just the right way. The Slowly. Slowly. The See, all they gotta do is drop enough blaster turrets to hold us back. And that's it for us. Well, that's kind of why, like, I don't enjoy the CR2 because you saw there the ranged engagement. Like, if I had something a little bit more accurate at range, I could have won the fight. But the TIE fire rate's great for close range engagements. It dishes out a ton of damage really fast. I don't know why it tells us that our ally is unidentified. Like, it'd be nice to know. Oh, who's coming in that might murder us because, you know, that's what the Sith do to their teammates. Are we actually not about to pull this off? Yep, we're about to not pull this off just because of blaster turrets and a lot of stuff. We've only got to be in there for a couple more seconds, too. Oh, there it is. Looks like they did it. Darth Maul gave us the turn we needed. Yes, yeah, so you only get 50 reinforcements. I think it's actually up from the old 40 reinforcements. There we go. Now it's open up. The hard part is, is depending on how long Darth Maul stays alive, we've kind of used our hero turn, like our hero card has been used for a brief amount of time now, depending on how long he survives. Which the way hero health works is he has a health bar, but after he loses a certain amount of health, his health bar shrinks to that size. That was a really good debt night charge. Oh, that's Han Solo, that's why. Aerial available.
think you can turn faster than me? You're wrong. down. Got him. Fire. I think it's an interceptor behind me. Based on its turn rate. Oh, it's right there. Shit. Oh, hey, look, it's another one. I'm shooting at my own friends, just realized that. Sorry, right, I'll change that on this pass. Oh, hey, I hit somebody. Player damaged. All right, let's go back to clearing out starfighters for a second. This is why the interceptors are really effective, because if you can get behind the enemies, they're really good at just taking them out. Where'd that bomber go? There you are. And the interceptors have really high turn speed, so when they try to kill you by crashing, it probably won't work. Are you a player? Control established. The east landing pad is ours. I dealt a lot of damage to him. Oh wow, we ran out of troops. You have run out of time and the battle is lost. Terminating Damn. Should have kind of expected that after how close we pulled it on the last round. Or not the last round, on the last segment. Also, that guy is just really good at the game. But yeah, there's Galactic Assault. Did some uh, interceptor practice to get ready to go into some Starfighter Assault next. We'll do this probably, 
Oh, from the looks of it, we did a half hour Ewok hunt. We did about an hour of Galactic Assault. So we'll probably do a half hour Star Fighter Assault, do three games or so. See how we're looking after that, maybe do a little bit more. I don't know. We'll see. This is a campaign that I've contemplated playing on stream a couple of times, but I've never actually gone to go play on stream just because it is... I don't want to say it's dry. It's actually good, but it's against AI, which I feel like makes the gameplay dry in a Star Wars game like this, where the real feeling behind everything comes from fighting actual players on a battlefield that are going to do much to combat you. Like, that's what Star Wars Battlefront 2 Classic was always about. It wasn't about surviving the whole game on the battlefield. It was about getting to play an on-the-ground troop and experience what it's like to be in the atmosphere. Which, Aiden Versio is a great character. Storyline's good, and then they added a secondary segment of the campaign, but the campaign's not all about Aiden Versio. Like, there's a segment where you play as Lando Calrissian. There's a segment where you play as Luke. There's a segment where you play as Kylo Ren. Uh, there's a segment where he plays Han Solo. Full beard Han Solo, too. So it's like old Han Solo. Pre First Order, but like post episode 6. There we go. There was a music shift that it's saying it's loading now. Yeah, like I said before, that's the hard part about this is the, the loading times. Alright, they're not online yet. I don't know today if we're going to do any more Bolivian road trip. Brian mentioned that he would like to do more Bolivian road trip, but I don't know if it'll be today or tomorrow, or maybe even Monday. But if it goes and it happens on Monday, it'll be early on Monday that we do it. Early, like, my normal start time, or even a little bit earlier. I leveled up Yoda. Yes, even the heroes have appearances. That actually looks pretty cool. Let's take a look at some of these for a minute. We'll still we'll still do our like three games or so of uh, Starfighter Assault, but just kind of want to check out the appearances for some of these people if they of them. Oh boy, wounded. Huh. Not that button. There's no rotate button. Wait, what was the first one called? Wookie Smuggler. Okay. Wow, they didn't add, like, Destroyed Vader or Damaged Vader. On Solo, I know there's the Endor Captain Smuggler. Oh, hey, there's Bearded Han Solo from uh, the, the campaign. Hoth Solo, Endor Solo. So Epic Skins are 40,000 points. Jeez. Or a thousand credits. So ten dollars or forty thousand credits. Thousand crystals. Aiden Versio Oh does have an appearance. Uh commander with no helmet. Yep. Okay. I don't know, I like the Inferno Squad stuff. I know Kylo Ren has appearances because I have one of them. It's the unmasked one. And then there's the scarred one from The Last Jedi slash end of the Force Awakens. Even Lando? Really? Oh, his uh, Cloud City gear. Leia, I know, has the Endor. Probably Hoth. Yep, Hoth. Jedi and Hoth. Okay. Looks like they're using a lot of the older... Oh, come on. I want to play as Crab Leg Darth Maul. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, after Darth Maul gets cut in half in episode one, he survives and when he falls down into that pit. Nice. I didn't realize they added that skin. Um, so he survives after he falls down and he gets attached to crab legs. We already looked at Yoda. So he just walks around on four crab legs. And it's actually really fucking cool. Alright, nothing for Phasma, nothing for Finn. Mr. John Boyega. Oh, God. And I don't think there are appearances for these yet. They don't have Starfighter appearances yet. Let's 
So yeah, Starfighter Assault is 12v12 populated with AI objective-based gameplay. They don't have any, like... What was it called? Was it Starfighter Assault? In Star Wars Battlefront 1? Or Star Wars Battlefront, I should say. I remember it was Starfighter Assault, or... Ooh, something else. But that was purely PvP with AI in it. Which was populated, I believe it was 12v12, was populated up to 40 players with AI. So it's 16 AI, 8 on each team. But this is objective based, so it's also one of those things where, like Galactic Assault, it can take a long time or it cannot take a long time. But usually, most times that I play Starfighter Assault, it doesn't get down to the wire when you do it. Like, you either have a good chunk of reinforcements left, almost all of your reinforcements left, or you lose. There aren't a lot of it comes down to the very end, because there's no overtime. Because it's not objective based, it's damage based, so you have to destroy things on an enemy ship. Overtime does not exist. that the silencer had extremely powerful torpedoes. Good to note. I don't really fly the silencer much, but I try to get Iden Versio's TIE Fighter. Yeah, Boba Fett's Slave 1 can drop an incredibly powerful seismic charge. At max level, that seismic charge is more than just incredibly powerful. Oh. Up, um, so I spawned in and we've already lost. Because we have we three seconds. Shields back up. Yep. Wow, that was uh, that's brief. I won't count that as one of the ones, but now you can see this badass cinematic. We've lost too many. We'll retreat to fight another day. That's what happens with every single uh, starter assault. There's a different cutscene for every win or loss. Oops. I think at this point I've seen them all. Credits earned this match. One. I love that. You destroyed a turret. Here's a credit. See, you can actually earn crystals from doing things in the game. Um, hope cannot save them. Uh, there's another one for completing every multiplayer milestone that's like 500 crystals. So it's not like they're impossible to earn, just once you reach a certain point in the game you can't earn anymore, you have to purchase them. But they do give you some. And originally, because I don't think they revamped the milestone rewards, that was because that way once you did a certain amount of stuff, you could purchase credits with the crystals in the in-game system. Or purchase crates with the crystals. And that's how you would unlock some, like, equipment that you might not have earned yet, or for a class that you don't really use. Ah, yes, the Death Star debris. So this is right after Episode Six, Destruction of the Death Star. Coming in as a TIE Fighter. So you can play uh, Fighter, Interceptor, Bomber, and then two or three thousand points for your... Um, your heroes. It's just so satisfying. Bye bye. Okay, I'm taking a lot of fire. I'm I'm going down here. I'm dead. Okay. I am still alive. Got him.
don't know what's behind me, but it's really doing some damage. Ooh. I actually can't tell if it's something. Oh yeah, it is. Look at that. There he is. Yep, that's the the Y wing bombers. I gotta get out of here. I'm still in the air, which is a miracle. Or I'm still flying, which is a miracle. No air in space, but still. All right, you know what? Fuck you, Y wing. <laughs> wow. That was gruesome. I think I'm lagging a little bit here. Yeah, yeah, wow. Um, I think Starfighter Assault is a lot more taxing than the other game modes, so you lag quite a bit more just because there's so much going on. it for me. That's what I don't like about the Y-Wing Bombers, is the Ion Cannon turret is really powerful in that you can't use any abilities once hit by it, and it slows you down. Also, the Y-Wings have a lot more health and can often take like an entire blast of laser fire, including the overheat and still be in the air. Like so. And I believe they do have a heal. Yeah, the AI don't really try to save themselves. Where an actual pilot will, like, turn away or something. I gotta just get this off. Yep. Oh, look at that. We're in. Got your back. Inferno squad's here. I think Brian's online because I think he just sent me a message, but I'm on Do Not Disturb. I'd get it on my phone, but not anywhere else. They are all over me. I'm just going to use this because I can tell everyone where they are. There's so many of them on me right now. Oh, hey. I saved a guy. Oh. Looks like they still want to focus on me. Our tie bombers completed their attack run. Oof. Yeah, the AI sometimes do crash too. part of that, but it's okay. Somebody slave one. So yeah, that's the seismic blast. It's got a thousand points for that shit. Woo. So we might actually transition straight into more Bolivian Earth Trip with Brian then, if Brian's online and wants to. This will be part three. Yeah, 
I've been alive too long. They're coming for me now. Target destroyed. Two mines remain. Only one left. The area is clear. It's time to press our advantage. Hi there. Wow, I'm like in him. Got him. Target the sensor clusters. Once they're down, we can do real damage. <laughs> Our TIE bombers are initiating an attack run. Cover them. Pretty much what I do is I just destroy enemy ships. I play the objective too, but once I become a hero, your weapons deal more damage. And if I'm out there playing the objective and taking all the points for it, then people aren't going to have as much opportunity to get other hero ships. So I just protect them, pretty much. I feel like the hero can play a lot more of a support role than it does for a lot of these, because a lot of them play them as a damage role. The fact that I'm still alive is amazing me though. Also, I have 7,700 battle points, so I don't need to go take objective points from other people. Because I could play another hero right after this if I really wanted to. There we go. That should do some damage. Alright, looks like I took it out. Target down. Back to fighters. I also don't think I'm that bad at dogfighting. I've also had quite a bit of practice recently. Two or three times a week. And this is about all I play in it right now is Starfighter Assault, because it's my favorite thing. I'm also great about destroying turrets. If you don't like enemy turrets, I've got your back. I don't like enemy turrets either. They deal a lot of damage. Target those sensor clusters to damage its defenses. So the little black leader thing kind of just identifies where the enemies are. Kind of highlights them for everyone. Where'd you go? There you are. We'll burn you all. That's the Millennium Falcon. I found my next target. So only hero ships can deal full amounts of damage to other hero ships. Time That's gonna hit the back. thing. Enjoy the fireworks. Give up what you can. Dismantling the sensor on I'm actually not a big fan of the Millennium Falcon as a pilot in this game. I never was in Star Wars Battlefront 1 either, honestly. Oh, I did nick it. I just barely nicked it. I have 30 E-limbs and a lot of points. But see, now I can jump right back into another hero ship if I want to. Let's do the silencer then. High power torpedoes. I, will fulfill my destiny. I don't like this voice actor for Kylo Ren. Wow, holy shit. Do it. Crush them. Something is really coming at me here. It's part their turrets, but it's part of Starfighter, and I need to get away from it. Its defenses 
are down. Now deliver a finishing blow. Target the rear engines. They're destroying our TIE bombers. We need to defend them. That's an X-Wing after me. Our victory awaits. I think that might actually be Luke. Yep, there's a bomber on me. And an X-Wing. There's a lot playing against me there. Yeah, he did invite me to a party. And we won. I'll take second place. I'm okay with second place. Hello, my friend. I'm stramming. Ooh, leveled up the fighter and uh, Iden Versio's fighter. Nice, got the double. Avenge our Emperor. Ooh, I got the aggressor. Oh, I won on every map. Sweet. I guess Endor was the only map I hadn't won on. That's an extra thousand credits. I have to do three more multiplayer milestones. I see how it is. I'm here now and he doesn't want to talk. You see, audience, he doesn't care about you. He picks and chooses who he wants and when he wants it. How's she going? Eh? <laughs> there he is. I'm I'm it's streaming. Not that I don't fucking speak as if my mic doesn't work half the time. <laughs> hey, you are you don't sound fuzzy today. You sound actually really clear right now. So whatever you did to get it to work this time, do it every time. Yeah, really. Yeah. The Imperials I just cut a path right through. Unplug my controller, unplug my phone. Basically just restart the whole fucking system with my controller. Yeah, you sent me messages while I'm on Do Not Disturb because I'm streaming Star Wars Battlefront 2. Revenge of the Fifth, man. Yeah. Revenge of the Fifth. I'm going down! Fifth. Yeah, it's the 5th of May. May the 4th be with you. Revenge of the 5th. That's stupid. There was in need two days. How dare, you in, how dare you insult my culture like this? Uh, so, I said that I'd play three rounds of Starfighter Assault, and this is round two, so... It's going pretty well. I've been going for 115 minutes, almost two hours. Oh. Oh shit. Come here, TIE Fighter. Hello. Oh, I'm getting a kill assist. Hello. Gotta kill, yes. Two kills. That's death. That was, yep. I flew too close to the sun. I can hear you. I could hear you for like... I don't know. A little bit. Okay. You know, I've been going for almost two hours. Which was actually kind of scary. Um, now I'm playing Starfighter Assault. I play Galactic Assault. You in a stream, Sivra? Fuck no. I don't even know if I would watch that. Like, I don't know if we could make it through one of those games on a stream. Like, that'd be terrible. No, we couldn't. Ow, get off my oh. ass, Starfighter. I'm gonna try. Tie bomber. 
Brandon asked you if I wanted to stream Civ 6 when I get my PC, and I'm like, who the fuck is gonna watch oh, a 15 hour long Civilization game? What? Oh. See, I don't even have bots watching me, though, so. What the. the skateboard guy? Yeah, but he's like an actual person that just hosts people. Alright, Slave 1 just got fucking decimated by us. Ow. Ow. I'm just gonna fly in circles till this guy crashes. Or I crash, whichever comes first. Oh, he stopped. He stopped chasing me in circles. Now I'm behind him. Got him. Why do I feel like I'm not hurting this guy? Now I'm hurting this guy. There he goes. Oh. So, uh, I, I'm, um... Did we use sim settlements in follow-up? I have not. Well, I, I use it once in a while. Now I'm starting to use the Basically, like, they build it themselves. Um, there is a new mod coming that I kind of want to tip you off to. I don't know if it's going to show up on console, though. Definitely on PC, Good called time. Fallout Miami. Oh, no. It's a Fallout 4 mod, but it's Fallout Miami. Poe Dameron, yes. Okay, we're good. I'm set. Poe Dameron and three interceptors. Let's go fuck shit up. Commander Dameron, reporting in. Huh. I'll do it. Their tie bombers are getting through. Intercept them. Some of these interceptors might be AI though. Oh, I gotta not crash this ship. This is gonna be difficult. Oh, and the Millennium Falcon's out here? I saw it briefly, but I heard it's cannon. Whoa, I just lagged and it's a miracle I didn't die. Fuck, I'm gonna go embarrass myself in Siege. I'll probably come join you. Just don't make call-outs to me when I'm not in the game. Like, you know, we do. I... I did that, like, once, one time. And it was still really funny. it was funny. a very intense game. But I was already in the game when you joined the party, so I was just kinda like... In that mood. Slave one, come here, you little... Whoa. You can make call-outs to me in your game, I can make call-outs to you, right? Start yelling about Darth Vader, I'll start yelling about Kennedy. It'll be fun. What's the difference? <laughs> oh no. That, my friends, is why you don't follow Slave 1. You remember um, Star Wars Episode 2, right, Brian? I know of its existence, yes. Have you ever watched it? Probably. You know when Obi-Wan chases down Jango Fett in their spaceships and Jango Fett launches like little bombs that make a lot of noise? Yes. Yeah. Slave 1 in this actually has those and they destroy every ship within its bubble radius which is like insta-kill six ships every time it's used. That's cool. I like that. I like that idea. They cleared our bombs out. Shit. I thought I just shot down Darth Vader, but it's just a TIE bomber. I'm so happy about my Capkin buff. Like, I thought I was getting a nerf and I got a buff. 
Just based on what I read, you were getting a nerf, and then they were just like, we lied. Uh, he needed a, he didn't need a buff, but he could use one. So, nice. Take them out quick. Not looking good. Pull it together. God. Is that a hero shit? Nope. Not anymore. Even if it was. Their tie bombers are hammering our forces. They must be stopped. Thank you so much. I love that the AI, not the AI, but like the, the players, pilots make call outs when you like save them or something like that. They're like, thank you so much. Or when you assist a hero, like the hero's voice actor will come over and say like like that's satisfying. Yeah. Stop those ties from disabling the cruiser's defenses. I'm spinning in circles. There he is. And he's dead. Makes you feel like a real face is grunt like you're really there, you know? I really I, but like that's one of my favorite things about the Star Wars Battlefront games, it's just the immersion level. Like as someone who loves this storyline. Really use this drone. You can just imagine yourself as that guy that smacked his hand in that fucking door in episode four now. <laughs> Come here, you damn TIE fighter. Yeah. Well, like because like it's not that you fear death, but it's like, oh, I can Versio. Get your ass over here, Versio. Oh damn, kill assist. But it's just like, since you don't fear dying, like when you die, is it? It's so cinematic, and it just feels so good. This looks like fun. Dying feels so good. Oh, you need 28. <laughs> We've had a lot of good quotes this year so far. Okay, it's fine. Date is a strong word. That, no, that was last year, wasn't it? No, that was this year. That was the beginning of this year. That was this year. When we weren't on stream for that, there was no one we were talking about. Yeah. There were a lot of things that... Most of our quotes were not said on stream, because most of our quotes cannot be said on stream. Yes. They're the kinds of things you don't say to the public. Jokes on us, Microsoft records everything that happens over Xbox Live. We're all going to jail. I mean, they can't imprison us for what we've done. They can try. Yeah. I mean, there's a bunch of squeakers yelling about hate speech that are gonna go down before we do, so. It's fine. Was I actually. No, okay, it was Darth Vader that killed me. I thought I was within the range of that seismic charge, and I was about to flip. Alright, so we got one more game of Starfighter Assault after this. Actually, do we? Yeah, because the first one didn't count. Black Leader ready to go. go. Poe Dameron's on site. Bye bye. Bye bye. The cruiser's defenses. Their ties are now targeting its lower hull sensors. Intercept them. Where did I place that one? Fourth? Will I even be in the top? No, I'll be in the top. Actually, yes, I will. Yes. I'll be in fifth. Poe Dameron down in fifth, boy. No! Oh. There's the last of them. Level 21. How many credits did I just get? Holy shit, did I complete milestones? Nope, I just got a fuck ton of credits. They must have doubled credits too. Yes! Don't mind my... Oh, uh, what the hell was that? I don't know where we're traveling to next, but something tells me it's either gonna be the resistance evacuation or the battleship. For the Separatists, which I kind of hope it is, because I want to play the clones instead of the Empire. Or I guess it's the First Order. If oh, it's Camino. Uh oh. So we're gonna play clones or droids. 
I didn't realize we were going to Camino next. Lay down rocks. We are setting up a mythical tent for three years. This cloning facility will fall. Hey, here we go. Alright, we're, we're the droids. I can ah. fly a vulture droid. We need to get three Actually, out of the four kills. Let's go for a little while. Run around. Just fuck yeah. I almost got an Aces castle earlier. I love queuing by myself sometimes. It's just like, we don't queue with the fucking people that you queue with, so it's just like, I have just so much more See, I think that what it is is when we queue together, we queue with people higher than both of us. That doesn't even make sense. I mean, well, technically it would, though, because we would queue with, ideally, people of a skill level that the two of us would have in communication. But what the game doesn't account for yes. is that we aren't always next to each other. Because we have two d very distinctly different play styles. For defense. For defense, yeah. For attack, we usually end up together. Which is usually why we do better on attack than on defense. My God. God, there's just, so many of them up there. Funner. All right, we're going to Vulture Droid because the interceptor's not working. Yeah, because I don't feel like I queue with people as high as when we queue together when I solo queue either. Oh, turret gunner, turret gunner. I don't feel like that ship should have a turret gunner and a repair feature. Like, give it one or the other. Because it should not be able to repair itself simultaneously as take out whatever's behind it. I don't know what you're talking about, but it sounds fun. I honestly feel like you and Brian, or you and Brandon would actually really enjoy this game. But it got so Number much shit. Remember me and Brian would. Like, you know, is, is my ultimate ego talking, you know, like, this is... I'm actually Chad, you split personality. I just, I know you that well. It's been, it's been so long that I've learned. I'm actually Nyanurb. <laughs> no, I feel like you and Brandon would actually really enjoy this. It just got so much shit when it came out that it was never given a chance. Kind of like you in Halo Wars 2. Because, like, I feel like you would really enjoy Halo Wars 2, but you had the wrong impression of what it was going to be like. I, I did. I thought it was going to be like a fucking Magic the Gathering card no. game. And that's, <laughs> only like, oh, a, no. that's only a single facet of that, which is co-op as well. Like, we could play that together. Please, someone find the traps. I want... Oh, we have Oh! That's no good. I just got like ion, and I'm like, but nothing in this game has ion rounds. And then I looked at the back of Yoda Starfighter, which has an ion pulse. <laughs> All right, we are actually about to lose this. We gotta go take out the bridges. Shifting to objective playing. We're gonna hit it, but it's gonna be. We're not gonna have a ton of defenses left, or troops left. disabled. Continue attack. Clear our enemy fires. Uh, leaving your smoke. Do you trust what's in the canister? I do, because he's the only guy on the team higher than me right now. That's the only guy that got the kills with this four. Okay. On this round. Reinforcements inbound. 
targeting Republic's what is that? Started. Oh! I'm guessing he just died. Yeah, who is that? That's... Oh yeah, that was... Yeah, that was... Fuck, he did good. Alright. My torpedo missed. I'm so disappointed. I was trying to target the... Oh, there was a ship behind me. Yeah, I was trying to target the turret that was shooting me, but it didn't work. I am about to be a sore fucking thumb as this TIE fighter. Oh, Kylo Ren just died. Well, it puts a damper on the cannon now, doesn't it? It's one of the few times I will play the objective as a hero fighter. Woo! Rocky quit it. Oh wow, it's turret gunner got me. Stop it. Lay down. Lay down. Almost leveled up from that too. Oh yes, there are intellers, fuck yeah. Where they were last time, it's where we won last time. Dispatch Republic cruisers. Hyena class bomber attack run successful. Republic cruiser destroyed. <laughs> I wasted half of that. But... Where might come back? I need you to be useful. God, they're all over me. Oh, I'm not gonna make it much longer. Come on, get off this next torpedo. Got it off. Damn, they finally took me out. I earned so many battle points for attacking the objective. So, I guess I lied earlier. This is coming down really close right now. Usually it does not end up this close. If I get okay, another line. good sweep Jonah? like that. Come on. Come on. Got it. Cruisers destroyed. Clear the air of enemy fighters. Oh, hey, it's a scimitar. Like, the sword or. Darth Maul's ship. Okay. I don't know if you know that. Darth Maul has a ship called the scimitar. Darth Maul had a ship? Yeah, he had a ship called the Scimitar as a prototype created by the Muns that was given to him by Emperor Palpatine, who was given to by Darth Plagueis. And uh, it had a stealth cloaking device, because it was actually stolen from one of Plagueis' other apprentices who stole it and then showed up and tried to kill Plagueis. Plagueis took him after defeating him and attempted to, um, you know, so experiment on him, of course. So was it to begin with? Because holy shit, it's a lot of people. It, I but believe it was actually... I believe it was Darth Plagueis' master, and it was, like, another one was given to... This is if memory serves me. Another one was given to his master's second apprentice, because his master didn't know Plagueis was strong enough, but turns out Plagueis was strong enough. Looks like I'll be getting paid soon. Oh, then. Yeah. Oh, that's right, we gotta take out its engines. Shields are down. Concentrate all fire on engines. You know what? 
Damn. Are you about to play Bandit? I am about to play Bandit, because I'm not expecting it. Get the dubstep and the shotgun ready. Come on, I gotta get there. I gotta be in range in time to do some serious damage, because we gotta pull this off. So you attack the beam weapon first, and then you attack the engines. It's one of the other ones. It's Fondor that you attack the underside of the ship second. Okay. I gotta help out the team here. Ah! Yoda. Like, something is really trying to kill me right now. It was Yoda. I'm a Yoda. What? I said I'm a Yoda. Alright, Ultra Droids, we have 70 tickets, 68 tickets left. We're losing reinforcements like crazy, but it'll only take one more good pass. Overload complete. Shields offline. Engines exposed. The odds are on our side. Victory conditions fast approaching. Concentrate fire on engines. Maybe don't blow top hatch and then try to be a retard. Well, that's the only way they know how to play, Brian. You always blow top hatch when you're playing casual. This is match point. We're down by one. <laughs> blows top hatch. He blows top hatch and looks up through it to shoot through. Like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> we actually just won. Barely, but we actually pulled it off. Where am I? Am I on this? Am I on this? Fifth place again! Top 5 out of 24, I'll take it. <laughs> Leveled up my fighter again, and Iden Versio's TIE Fighter again. That was, this was a good series of runs in Starfighter Assault. I'm, I'm glad I got to broadcast these. I don't really usually play this well. Yeah, it usually sucks. I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, I'm not terrible, but I'm not as good as I am like I was all the time. Like, I'm top three on my team. 12 elims, but we were on attack, so it's more objective-based points. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me on our journey on Revenge of the Fifth through Star Wars Battlefront 2. Enjoy the rest of your Cinco de Mayo, should you be enjoying anything of it today. And I will see you again later. Hopefully with this cuck that's in this party right now for some more Bolivian road trip. But we don't know when yet. Uh, well, thanks for coming out. Just for that.